Ken Hunter built his dream home and was doing well in the real estate market as a builder and broker. Before he knew it, construction work dried up and Ken couldn't get a sale. Oh, it was horrible. I'd uh, pray I couldn't understand why things like this would be happening to me. Ken's wife, Lynn, went back to work as a nurse to try to ride out the financial storm. But it wasn't really enough to get us up and out of that situation. And nothing was working for Ken to be able to get us through and be able to, to keep the house. Soon, the hunters were not able to make their house payments. They tried to sell their home, but no one was buying. When I would ask Ken, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And he'd be like, I'm trying to figure it out. So the dream home that we built, we knew was gonna go fall to the wayside. All the money we put into it, hard work to get there. And that, you know, made things, you know, so hard at home. The Hunter's home fell into foreclosure and they had to file for bankruptcy. With bad credit now attached to their names, Ken and Lynn found it difficult to even rent a home. But in the middle of this turmoil, Lynn started watching the 700 Club and started learning about the biblical principles of giving. Once I started watching it on a regular basis, I just caught on that you can't outgive God. <laughs> and I just thought, that's what we gotta do. Ken and Lynn started watching the 700 Club together and they became CBN partners. In time, business started to pick up for Ken. My wife would encourage me and always say, we need to tithe on this money that we've got because, you know, God is blessing you, blessing your business. He's going to bless your business more, you know, if you're faithful in tithing. Determined to follow the biblical principles of giving, Ken and Lynn tithed and increased their giving to CBN. Ken kept getting work. Um, things kept happening and we started getting in better and better financial positions. Our income has just gone up and up and up. And mine too, as a nurse. I mean, it's just gotten better and better. Ken and Lynn were able to save enough money to make a down payment on a new home. They've also put three children through college. And this couple who once was bankrupt paid for their daughter's wedding. As Pat keeps teaching us, and we watch him every night together, uh, that God is faithful and he will come through no matter how it looks, no matter even now with the market turning down again, we are gonna trust that God is above the market. It doesn't matter, he, he's still faithful.